Give it a button down. Ah! Today we're going to be talking about the Bandai Movie Monster Series, Godziban, Anguirus, and Baby Radon. Yeah, first we're going to be taking a look at Baby Radon, and look at this tiny, adorable little triglyceride. Triglyceride? What? What? So we're gonna get a little bit of paint on Rodan's eggshell diaper going on over here. Nothing on the side, nor the back, save for his tail. He's going to have his little chesticle thorns over here painted. That same paint will be on the toes and the fingers. And that pretty much covers paint when it comes to his body, but when we take a look at this adorable little boo-boo face over here, oh my god. My heart is instantly set aflame. Now I want children. Little Rodon over here is going to have some blush on his cheeks. A nice Nicely painted little beak with two teeny tiny little fangs in there. And then the eyes. The eyes are big, they're glittery as sin, and they're kind of terrifying from this angle. Have them looking up and it's a little less terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd give paint a solid star. As far as Godziban figures go, this is pretty serviceable. Now in terms of detail, we're going to get a lot of it. I mean, we're going to have the folds in his wing. We're going to have the wrinkles on his arms slash wings. We're going to get a nice segmented armor plate underbelly over here with some adorable little baby fat rolls for the neck. His feet are going to be properly detailed as well. Very, very nice. Flipping the figure to the backside and just look at that. So many lovely little details, especially on his back. We have that raised portion, some nice wrinklaging going on. His adorable little stumpy tail, both on the top and bottom, is going to have a lot of really nice detail. And even on the back of his head, moving into the top of his head. Nice, nice details. And no matter the angle, little baby Radon over here is going to be adorable. I can't get over it. Oh my god, that is just so sweet looking. So as far as details go, I'm gonna give that a solid star as well. And now we're gonna take a look at the tag. I didn't bother talking about the tag first this time because tag no fit into top loader and Amazon sent me the wrong top loaders, the ones that I ordered two weeks ago and you sent me the wrong ones. But yes, we have an adorable little image of baby Radon over here. This is the puppet used in the Godziban series. And as you can see, the puppet definitely has a lot more color to him than the figure over here does. Yeah, I would have liked a little bit more of those flesh tones on his underbelly and on his wing membranes over here. Would have liked to see the mouth painted on the inside with a sculpted tongue. But uh, yeah, as far as the sculpted tongue goes, this is a pretty small figure. And promo shot wise, we pretty much knew how this guy was going to look. On the back of the we're going to get a massive little portrait of the Godziban cast, and I want figures of all of them. Opening the tag up, we get a bunch of stuff on the inside, and that's about it for Baby Radon. And now it's time for Best Boy Anguinus. Oh. My. God. I thought Baby Radon would be, like, unbeatable, but Angugu dolls over here? Sweet Barrier Reef, he's adorable, and look at all of that detail. Holy God. Beautiful, beautiful work from Bandai over here. All those lovely wrinkles and scales go all the way throughout his underbelly to the bottom side of his tail. It'll be on the upper portion, and oh man, yes they did. They painted all of the little spikes on Anguirus's back. Now, they might only be painted on one side as you can see but this looks really really good save for the nicks that this thing got during shipping we're even gonna get that on this little half crown up here on these little thorny horns and stuff and i really love the paint that they used for this i do wish they were as bright and as yellow as the crown on his head but for the most part this is very very effective i really do like how this looks hopefully that means bandai is preparing a showa era anguirus figure at some point next year because we drastically need a new showa angugu dolls just look at that face! My god! The horn on his nose is very well done. Not gonna get anything crazy out of it in terms of detail, but paint-wise, it is what it's supposed to be. The eyes on this guy, though. Oh my god, it's like looking into a galaxy. And just the overall detail that is on his head, around his face, even inside of his mouth with his teeth. This guy is a knockout. I mean, they managed to cram quite a bit of that into his arms over here. And his little claws over here are very nicely painted. Yeah, on one side, but what can you do? Look 
at the detail. Both sides are going to be absolutely decked out in decadent detail. And yes, he's got painted claws on his opposite arm as well. No detail on the bottom of his feet, but we get all this stuff. Gonna get some nice painted toes with some more very nice looking detail on his thighs, legs overall. And no, the little duke claws on the back of Anguirus's legs over here are not going to be painted, but at this point, who was expecting that? I mean, I kind of knew right from the get-go when I didn't see any paint on the spikes on the back of his tail, so... Yeah. And yeah, Anguirus is fantastic. This is easily my favorite of the two. And this is how Anguirus looks in the show. Very, very nice take on the Showa era Anguirus design. Like, that just looks awesome. Amazing, even. But I think I'm a little more amazed at the fact that uh, X Plus hasn't done anything with Godzi Band. I'm not talking about like 25 centimeter giant monster series type stuff. But could you imagine if they did Defo real Godzi Band figures? I would love that. Now, the Defo real line as a whole kind of already is just cheapified Godzilla designs, but I would love to see Godzi Band enter the Defo real line. Come on, X Plus, up to it. But anyway, the tag is exactly the same as Baby Radon, except for some of its inner contents and obviously what's on the front over here. And I will give paint and detail for little Anguinus over here two solid stars. Little Vinyl Bebe Kaiju. I love it and I need more. Two solid stars for each in terms of paint and detail. Now let's take a look at articulation because believe it or not, both of these figures have articulation. I'm surprised in regards to Baby Radon over here. So I originally thought we would at least get a swivel at the waist over here, but surprisingly enough, we do not. The one and only point of articulation with Baby Radan over here is going to be at the wings, although I really don't recommend it, as you can see. While it is entirely possible to get Baby Radan's wings into a different pose, the little vinyl bits in there do get all squished, and that kind of makes me worry about the body overall. You know, I don't want anything like breaking or cracking or tearing at that point, but hey, look at that. It is is possible for anybody who, you know, was just wondering. Unexpected, but totally welcome. I'll give this guy a solid star in terms of articulation. Now, as far as little Anguirus goes, unfortunately, his neck is going to have a glue seal on it, so no articulation in the neck. We will, however, get articulation in both of the arms. They can both go all the way around. Very much welcome. And we're also going to get articulation in the legs as well. They will both go all the way around, and that's pretty much it for Anguirus. Nothing at the tail either. I think this guy is absolutely worthy of a solid star in terms of articulation despite glue in the neck. Three solid stars each for these adorable little vinyl bebes. And now we can move into size comparisons. I've said it once, I've said it twice, and you know what? I might as well just say it thrice or force. Fice. Fice? I don't know. For the price that you pay for these figures, they are above worth it. I'd even say they're above what you're paying for. Yeah, they're not super extravagant or flashy looking, but again, for the quality you get for these things, this price is unbeatable. And I'm really hoping that Bandai actually puts out a couple more of these next year. It doesn't matter which, because I want them all. Seriously, the entirety of the Kaiju cast, I want them. Especially Shin Godzilla and Kamatakun, obviously. I'm happy with these figures, I'm happy with what I paid, and I really, really just want to start growing my Godzeban collection already. Bandai, I need a little bit more output from you. Pretty good way for the movie monster series to end the year off. I mean, we haven't heard anything about more vinyl Godziban figures for a while now. And just the fact that it's Anguirus and Baby Radon, probably two of the monsters nobody was really expecting is, I don't know, warms my heart a bit. But no, seriously, Bandai, I need, I need more of these. All of them. Maybe Baggin too, if you can find it in the tightness in your heart. But any hooser, I have been Shin Rob Jira. I do so hope you all enjoyed this review. I apologize for the quietness on the channel this week, save for this and tomorrow's video. You know, holidays, all that other kind of stuff. I'm trying to decompress. But all that decompression therapy is going to come to an end, both today and tomorrow, where tomorrow we are going to finally be talking about Mother Spherosaurus. One of the best looking vinyl figures of the year. Easy. Bye! <laughs>